The UN Climate Conference in Glasgow officially begins today. Fox Weather Steve Bender is live in Edinburgh, Scotland for us. Steve, good morning. How's it getting started there this morning? Hey, good morning, Amy. It's getting underway. We're starting to hear some of those world leaders and the conference president. They have spoken uh, just a little while ago. We'll kind of have those opening ceremonies since today is day one. Now, we're in Edinburgh. That's about an hour away from Glasgow. And so uh, temperatures here are still relatively chilly. We're in the lower 50s and cloudy conditions. But what we're talking about with this conference is obviously the warming trend. And one of the main focuses and goals of this trend is to uh, – keep one and a half degrees within reach. So you'll hear that over and over again in this conference. And what that means is the committing to keep the average global temperature from rising more than one and a half degrees Celsius or 34 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Now, when our atmosphere warms up, the weather becomes unstable and that increases the likelihood of more volatile, severe weather. And so earlier this morning, the conference president actually talked about some of those weather events. We are seeing the devastating impact of a changing climate. Floods, cyclones, wildfires, record temperatures. And we know that our shared planet is changing for the worse. And we can only address that together through this international system. Now, at the top of the show, I heard you guys talking about Halloween, and you're celebrating today's the big holiday, but also today is World Cities Day. And so it's the end of October, and they've been celebrating Urban October, talking about creating adaptable and eco-friendly communities. And the reason why is because the World Cities, they occupy just 3% of the land here on earth, but they account for 60 to 80% of the energy consumption and 75% of the carbon emissions. They are also very vulnerable to climate change and severe weather. And so some of those big cities here in the U.S. have actually felt that volatility this year alone. Think back uh, early in the year, February, we had that major ice storm that hit the south, impacting cities like Dallas and Houston that aren't used to those cold temperatures. Then we fast forward into the summertime where we had record heat in the Pacific Northwest build where temperatures in Seattle and those areas topped out into the triple digits in June. And then recently in September, Amy, we're thinking about Hurricane Ida. I was down along the coast covering it in Louisiana, but as it continued to track up into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, even the remnants of that storm had so much energy and rain packed into that that it led to historic flooding in New Jersey, uh, Brooklyn, New York City. And so that's what we are concerned about and something that they will be addressing at this conference is the volatility, the frequency that we see the severe weather, and then just how extreme does that weather get and something that we've been keeping a close eye on. And, and Amy, working with you here on Fox Weather, we've been talking about mm -hmm. even this month alone in October, the tornadic conditions and how that has been something prevalent just this month alone. Yeah, we're going to go down in the month of October, having the most hurricanes that this month has ever recorded. You also bring up a great point there for Ida, the intensity of the hurricanes, which follows the research that has come out. Uh, just uh, this morning reading 172 mile an hour wind in Louisiana from uh, Ida. I mean, that's just an incredible win. I have to ask you, um, being there in Scotland, is the conversation every day uh, people talking about this? Because the world's settling in here to have some big discussions, but in and around, even from the airports to the hotels to places you eat, is the conversation around this conference uh, happening? Yeah. Yeah, Amy, it's a great question. It is. I stopped in Amsterdam. That's where my layover was. Even there, we saw signs for COP26. So if you're looking online or you get on the Fox Weather app and go to that read tab, you can look at what are the big highlight points for COP26 or this UN Climate Change Conference. The conversation started in Amsterdam. We got here in Edinburgh, and we are already hearing uh, not only there's protests, there's signage, but there is a, a lot of kind of intensity and energy around this conference and what is going to unfold and we will be here all week long we do expect biden to come in tomorrow and he will even speak tomorrow morning for a short while he was at uh, in rome at the g20 summit today and that's why he's flying into tomorrow and we'll hear more from world leaders as we progress through the week